today we will hear statements by the honorable members for the district of Mount Pearl Southland, uh, Terra Nova, uh, St. Barb Lance Meadows, Fairyland, and Bonavista. Uh, the honorable member for Mount Pearl Southland. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. It's my absolute pleasure to sit in this honourable house today to recognise an amazing athlete from my district, Michael Mercer of Southlands. This past November, Michael participated in the 26th annual 2019 Canadian Bocce Championships in Victoria, BC. This event brings together the best bocce athletes from across the country, all vying for a spot on the Canadian national team and the opportunity to represent Canada at international competitions. Michael did our province very proud as he captured the gold medal in the BC2 classification, going undefeated for the tournament. Following the championship tournament, he was named to the national team for the fifth consecutive year. He is currently ranked number two in Canada and has represented our country in several international competitions since first joining the national squad in 2015. Mike's ultimate goal is to represent Canada at the 2024 Paralympics in Paris, France. I ask all members to please join me in congratulating this ama amazing young man on his many accomplishments and wish him all the very best in his quest to represent our country at the 2024 Paralympic Games. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. The Honourable the Member for Terra Nova. Mr. Speaker, today I rise to speak about a 16-member community group that planned and successfully delivered an important event in my district of Terra Nova. When the COVID pandemic hit, the Apple Fest 16 committee members became very creative to plan the second annual community-involved event with an array of activities for all ages. They felt it was extremely important at a time like this for this event to continue. The event in Port Blandford from September 25th to 27th provided four culinary events, an outdoor market with 25 vendors attending from St. John's to Fogo, as well as activities throughout the community like golfing, sea kayaking, a uh, drive-in movie, a picture scavenger hunt, all following public health guidelines on self-distancing. This was planned as an economic development project helping increase tourism activity and to continue with the spirit in this viable community-oriented town. It is estimated that over $25,000 worth of sales took place at the outdoor market and an overall $50,000 worth of economic activity was generated for tourism and the craft industry in Port Blanford. I'd like to thank everyone and congratulate the town of Port Blanford for such a lucrative and successful event in such trying times. The Honourable the Member for St. Barb, Lanson Meadows. Mr. Speaker, today I recognize a dynamic father and son who share a love for motorcycling and their community. Chris and Charlie Humby of St. Lanier Gricket started a motorcycle ride in 2018 called Just the Tip Great Northern Peninsula Motorcycle Rally, which gets its name from the route taken to circumnavigate the tip of the peninsula. Their focus was to bring together riders from the Great Northern Peninsula and raise funds to support Kids Eat Smart breakfast programs at our local schools. In the first year, they attracted 10 riders and raised $1,851. The ride grew in 2019 and continued to thrive in 2020, attracting support from Tim Hortons, St. Barb Consumers Co-op, and Green Island Cove Lions Club. A total of $6,210 was raised by 19 participants for White Hills Academy, Truman Edison Memorial, Canon Richards Memorial Academy, and French Shore Academy. Chris and Charlie are proud of their ride that has a three-year total of $12,021, matched by Kids Eat Smart Foundation, which means more than 24,000 meals for our school-aged children. I ask all honorable members to congratulate Chris and Charlie Humby for organizing this motorcycle ride and the impact it's had on school breakfast programs on the Great Northern Peninsula. The Honorable the Member for Fairyland. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Today I recognize the recent passing of a constituent for my district. Kevin Dalton passed away on March 29, 2020 at the age of 58 and was laid to rest on September 11th. 
Kevin was a resident of Cape Royal, a very well-known, successful businessman with a very infectious smile and a big heart. Kevin was a hard-working man who owned and operated a couple of very prosperous businesses in his hometown. Kevin began his career with the Canadian Coast Guard. While employed with the Canadian Coast Guard, he purchased his first business. Over the years, Kevin purchased and built other businesses that he owned and operated, such as a gas bar, convenience store, a grocery store, and a home hardware building center. Kevin also owned and operated Newfoundland and Labrador's only casket manufacturing company, which he started in 1991 and is still operating in Cape Royal today. Mr. Speaker, I ask all my colleagues of this House to join me in honouring the life of Kevin Dolan and the contribution he made to our province. Thank you. The Honourable the Member for Bonavista. Mr. Speaker, Calvin Pond of Musgrave Town is a paraplegic who serves as an inspiration to any person who has the privilege of knowing him. Calvin was working in the gold mine in Yellowknife back in 1986 when he was involved in a biking accident leading to his injury. If I use the term disability here to explain this incident, Calvin may take exception. In 1999, Calvin and his wife moved home to Musgrave Town. Since this accident, Calvin has challenged himself to do everything he did previously. He participates in the recreational fishery and hunts his moose every year when he has his license to do so. Calvin has been an active member of the local Lions Club since returning home and recently served as their president for four years where he has captured much respect from his colleagues and the community alike. Until recently, he received his truckload of wood every year, which he promptly cuts into junks and stored for the winter. Calvin serves as an inspiration for us all. I ask the members of the 49th House of Assembly to join me in congratulating and celebrating the tenacity, energy, perseverance, and resiliency of Mr. Calvin Pond of Musgrave Town. Thank you.